Welcome back here to Good Day Charlotte. And in today's Health Watch, we are talking about eyesight. We're especially talking about macular degeneration because it impacts millions of Americans. The problem is very little is known about it. So Dr. Ed Paul is joining us this morning to talk us through what it is and even some ways to diagnose it very early. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So what is it exactly, exactly here? So macular degeneration is the leading cause of blindness in the United States in individuals over the age of 60. Roughly 15 million Americans have it. And basically, it's the loss of central vision, which is what allows us to function. It's what allows us to read the newspaper and see the face of a loved one. Mm. And again, early diagnosis and then new treatment options are some things that we want to discuss for awareness this morning. So let's talk about the early diagnosis. With everything else, the earlier the better, but there's new technology to help with that. Absolutely. So typically, when a person goes to their eye doctor, and they're diagnosed with macular degeneration, it's when they've already lost vision. Mm -hmm. They simply think that they need to go in and get a new pair of glasses. By that time, there's very little that we can do or our treatment options are limited. But there's a new diagnostic kit test called ADAPT-DX, which is just like a stress test for the heart. Mm -hmm. This is a stress test for the macula. And it allows us to diagnose macular degeneration three, five, seven years before there are any symptoms. So when do you know to actually have the stress test done? Is it just something to have done annually maybe? So we recommend that any patient over the age of 50 have it done during their normal eye exam. Mm -hmm. And then there are risk factors that put people at greater risk. Family history, do they smoke? Do they have a good lifestyle, elevated cholesterol, hypertension? These are all risk factors that might call for the test to be done at an earlier age. So once the test is done, we're finding that there are some new treatments as well. I mean, you're coming with a jam-packed with good news this morning for us, Doctor. Walk us through some of the new treatments that people may not be aware of. So the one message I want to make sure that the listeners get is if they've been diagnosed with macular degeneration, there truly is hope. A lot of patients have been told by their very well-meaning eye doctor that nothing else can be done. But we do have new treatments. And on the horizon, or not even on the horizon, something that's available right now are implantable miniature telescopes and telescopic eyeglasses that basically can allow a person to see two to three times better than their normal vision with macular degeneration. So imagine if you can the power of a pair of binoculars or a rifle scope. Mm -hmm. That technology can now be miniaturized into a telescope that's about the size of a green garden pea. And wow. it can be literally surgically implanted into the eye to restore vision. And we can also now do that same technology in a pair of glasses, a small little telescope about the size of a shirt button mounted into a pair of eyeglasses that allows a person to see again 200, 300% better. But still the key to all of this is really being diagnosed as quickly as possible, correct? Absolutely. Early diagnosis is the key. And if a person's been told that they have macular degeneration, never give up hope there are always new treatment options. Dr. Ed Paul, thank you for joining us today. Adapt DX is what it's called, and make sure to ask your eye doctor for a test. Absolutely. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.